Hey guys, welcome back to another bedtime book review. This is going to be my last for a little bit because I'm going on maternity leave, sort of. Um, today we're going to be looking at A Normal Pig by Kay Fi Steele. This is a super cute little book. It was given to us as a gift from our babysitter and I think it's really cute and I wanted to share it with you. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I am going to read a few pages here at the beginning to give you a flavor. Um, cute little art. was a normal pig who did normal stuff. She liked making art, cooking with her family, and thinking about what she wanted to be when she grew up. Then one day, a new pig came to school. Ew, what are you eating? It stinks. Pip didn't know how to respond. It was just her normal lunch. So that's how we're starting. Um, you and probably the rest of the people reading the story from the beginning for the first time aren't going to even notice that there's anything different with Pip, just like she doesn't. There's nothing different or interesting about Pip, um, but you do happen to notice then once someone points it out, and that's the point here, is that she has it pointed out to her by some, you know, racist kid at school. Um, she is from a biracial family, and this, this page really does stick out to me. This bully kid goes, is that your babysitter? And points to her mom in the stands. And I think that is something that's kind of common to um, people in mixed racial relationships um, to get those kinds of comments. I never really felt, I haven't felt any kind of discrimination. Like, okay, I'm white, so I have speaking from a point of privilege, but I'm married to a Filipino. He and I have a daughter who is half Asian. Um, our babysitter also is in a half Asian, half white relationship, which is why she recommended this book. And um, it's sort of implied, though not specifically stated, that that is the situation of Pip and her family. And so you see some of the things that they're, you know, eating or whatever. So the uh, mom here is it seems Asian because we've got some seaweed snacks as part of her lunch and the dad is, I think, white. <clears throat> and it seems like they live in a sort of predominantly white um, neighborhood. And then they go into town, which is portrayed as like some sort of metropolitan uh, mecca where, you know, people are traveling from all over the world, speaking different languages, and you get to see what normal looks like in sort of a more racially diverse area. And so that dichotomy is a little bit black and white. Um, so, you know, maybe this isn't really the book for nuance in that area, but basically um, it's just a, a little bit of a parable about that, about what normal means basically, because Pip thinks that her family is perfectly normal and that her, you know, her food is perfectly normal, which obviously it is. It looks like she's having some sort of I don't know, I want to say like a chicken peanut something over rice with some maybe bok choy and she's got seaweed snacks. So that's what makes me think that she's supposed to be half Asian in this parable as it were. Um, and her <laughs> dad offers, cause she says, no, I want a normal lunch. And so her dad offers her a peanut butter sandwich on Wonder Bread, which I think is just hilarious. Um, anyway, it's, it's a story that I don't think our daughter is probably old enough or jaded enough to relate to from a, like a what is discrimination standpoint. But I think even if you don't get that, it has a really cute, sweet little message about like normal is different for everybody. Um, and if other people say that you're not normal, then you know, they're the ones with the problem here. Like she says, well, you want to try some of my food? And everybody likes it except the bully because he's, you know, not accepting or blah, blah, blah. So. It's a, it's a place to start a conversation, I think. Um, if you, like, our daughter is two, she's not in school yet, so she doesn't have maybe the point of view of, like, dealing with bullies. But I feel like that comes up in a lot of people's lives from time to time. Um, and so this would be a point uh, to open up a conversation about that. And so I think in that way it's really good. But also it's just really a sweet message about... Uh, what normal means and how that's different in different places and how also like it's okay to feel 
abnormal. That that's something that I think we go through. But, you know, like, there's all kinds of pigs in the world with different kinds of shades of color and spots and stripes and whatever. And we all have our own normal and what families look like. So that's basically it. I wanted to show that this book exists and that you should check it out if you're interested because I think it's really cute. Um, and I will link it below. What's linked below is my bookshop.org affiliate page where it links uh, all of, not all of, many of the books that I have covered in this series of bedtime book reviews. Um, some of them are like super old and not available there, but bookshop.org is a cool website that allows you to support small business and like local bookstores. You can support your own local bookstore or otherwise it just gets split evenly amongst small mom and pop bookstores. And so um, instead of like Amazon and making Jeff Bezos richer, you can support your local place um, and also support me at the same time because I do get a small kickback if you buy through there. Um, that's today's story. If you have any book, the bedtime books that you would like me to look at in this series when it comes back after my baby is born, please leave those in comments below because I'm always on the lookout for new and interesting bedtime books, even though my daughter seems to just be interested in the same few over and over again. <laughs> I appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye.